Hello, 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 and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is I, your favorite alchemist, the alchemy goddess. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. You are greatly appreciated. This is your daily divine feminine healing message for the divine feminine within his or her twin flame journey. As always, stay calm, be kind, show love, and glow. Don't forget, as always, twin flame journey oracle cards then we have the twin flame journey messages one and two and the divine feminine healing oracle messages all by mystic moon oracle you can find them on etsy tiktok youtube instagram all right you guys let's get a message here on this twin flame connection what's the message for the divine feminine on this twin flame journey vibrations that's so funny because that card came out while i was shuffling i put it in the middle of the deck and it came back out again commitment and release Ooh, vibrations commitment I always do that. I need to get those little stands. But I should take the time out to go do it, right? <laughs> so, vibrations, commitment, and release. <sighs> Someone has to let something go in order to raise their, vib their vibrations. And it feels like the masculine may have to let go of a commitment. It could be to you, but why would you be lowering their vibrations? It could be a commitment to someone else. Um, honestly, this is just a matter of someone needing to raise their vibrations, but in order for them to commit, they may have to release something first. Bottom of the deck. Whoa, pride and ego. All right, spirit. Talk about it. In order for someone to commit to you, they have to raise their vibrations by releasing their pride. Their ego's in the way. So, 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 so like fitting. Okay. Let's get a red one out here. What's the message from the masculine? Let me get a white one. All right. The first message we have here is your intensity frightens and allures me all at the same time. So the way you're into this person, it frightens them. <laughs> it's really hard for me to open up. This person has a lot of feelings for you, but they don't know how to tell you. I feel badly for the way I treated you. You didn't deserve that. This person definitely has withheld their true feelings from you for a while now. And I feel like in order for them to raise their vibrations and commit to you, they got to release their pride and ego. Look at that. I can still feel you. This person feels your energy everywhere they go. Everywhere they go. They probably wake up and think about you, fall asleep thinking about you, all of that. What's the message from the universe on this connection and how the masculine views the feminine? What's the message for the healing? Okay, we have Lane's. I do not compare myself to other people on this journey of life. I stay in my own lane and let others do the same. I definitely feel like the universe is reminding you that there is absolutely nothing wrong with you. Nothing. Nothing. Comparing yourself to others only does what? Dims your light. Don't worry about someone else. Don't worry about someone else's connection with someone else. Don't worry about someone and what they're doing, thinking, feeling, how they're moving. Stay in your lane and let others do the same. And don't compare yourself because it's not necessary. You are perfect and beautiful just the way you are. Hope you guys enjoyed today's message. As always, peace.